Hello guys, it's uh me, Tokusatsu, and uh this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> this isn't even a podcast review, this is just me getting out my thoughts on how I feel about uh Dino Fury. So I just finished watching the show and uh <clears throat> I just finished watching the second half. And uh, and what can I say about Dino Fury now? Uh, well, Okay. 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 Okay.
and then they just forget about it and just go on fighting the monster of the day. I, it's hard for me to say this. <clears throat> I have, I like the, I, I like the idea that, I like the idea that go, that goes in the Dino Fury. It's at the same time, it doesn't, it just doesn't work for me. I like got, I don't know, I'm just gonna say this. Dino Fury is pretty much becoming an MMPR remake. It could like, why, why the hell did Simon, why the hell did Simon Bennett decide to do? Is say, oh, okay, oh, you no, know no, since Lord Zed's here, because, well, of course he is, Lord Zed's here. Like, I'm sorry, I highly doubt it that, I highly doubt it that, uh, that Lord Zed pretty much win the grid battle for in free Scruzzle. And yet, the funny thing about that is that we don't even see Scruzzle after his last appearance, after Zed been frozen inside that tomb. But, oh no, don't worry. Don't worry. Zed, Zed broken out. Zed broken out already. Sure. Yeah, how? Doesn't explain, but he broken out. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh god. I don't have I don't have high hope for cosmic theory because fuck say people are predicting that it's gonna be Q Ranger or Q Major. Alright, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Ain't gonna be either though, so shut the fuck up and listen. Excuse my language. I'm, gonna, I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing Toku fans say, thinking that it's gonna be Q Ranger or Kieran Major. It's gonna be neither. Because Simon Ben saying ain't touching Q Ranger due to Mobile Ranger. He didn't say anything about Kieran Major. But if. <laughs> But Kier, I I doubt. It, okay, I fucking doubt it's gonna be Kier Major, because I'm sorry, I don't. Those suits do not scream space theme to me, in my opinion. When when I see Kier Major, I think uh I think uh imagination and sparkling stuff. <clears throat> no, I think imagination and fun and joy and creativity with those suits. God, I love Kier Major. It's one of my favorites, and we already know this. <clears throat> but uh, I don't see, I don't see the word, I don't, see, I don't, I don't see the word cosmic or space when I when I see the Kieran Major suits. So get that, so get that shit out of the way. I'm not called Kieran Major shit, so don't worry. But guy man, <laughs> uh, like I was saying, uh, why the hell did Z Simon Bennett decide to make, decide to say Buzz Blast Agent Agent? Angel Glow, wait, wait, what? Say how many Buzz Glass, Buzz, Buzz, Buzz Blast is going to Angel Glow, Angel Grove. I can't talk. I'm sorry, I'm too tired for this shit. Really? Oh, okay. So, okay. So this is basically a modern MPR then. Okay, it seemed like it. You got to see Lord Zed back for the third fucking time. Zato got a brand new white suit. Not know why. It looked like God off. I'm sorry. It looked like complete shit. It looked like complete shit. I'm sorry. It fucking does. It looked like complete shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Tune in next time for Cosmic Fury. Oh God. I have, I have high. I don't, I don't have high hopes for Cosmic Fury. I see why people like the show. That's fine. But I just gotta say this. I'm. I'm just gonna say this. Speed round. Uh, Zato. He's he's a cardboard. He's a fucking cardboard. Excuse me, language, but uh, Zato is just a cardboard. Because whole time watching the show, I did not care for him. I like his suit, but uh, this but uh, Zato was just fucking cardboard. He was just bland. He had a few good moments here and there, but yeah, he was just bland. So, yeah, Zato's, Zato's just boring. <clears throat> Ollie. I don't like Ollie. I can't stand him. He's annoying. He's my least favorite character in the whole entire show. Let's talk about uh, Ravi. I like Ravi. He's cool. But at the same time, he's he's just felt he's just felt useless at times. I wasn't saying useless. I know. I know. Ravi had more... Ravi had a more interesting arc, a more better arc than Zato did. So, so, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it by that. 
Easy, my favorite. He's cool, he's funny, her dialogue's cringe. But I, but I did like episode 17 of season 2 of Dino Fury. So, yeah. Ion, he's chill. He's chill, I like him. But by the time, he's annoying. He's like... He is, he is annoying. He's like, he is really annoying. And that like doesn't even say much. So, yeah. It's just annoying, though. But whatever. <clears throat> what else? Oh, yeah, Amelia. Amelia's cool. I like her. Amelia's cool. She actually, she actually, is, one of, she actually is one of my favorite characters in the show. Because, like, I'm sorry, but uh, she's pretty much the main character, to be honest. And also, I just want to say this. Uh, I, want, I, I, just, I just want to point, I just want to say this. It's funny. Back then, back when after season one ended, there was spoiler leak for season two, say that oh yeah, Amelia is the son of sorry, the Amelia is the daughter of Void Knight and a uh, Void Queen. I'm like, okay, that's funny. Then Simon Bennett saw that on Twitter and dis and call it and say that ain't real. But yet it happened the show. So Simon, buddy. Those leaks were real, my guy. I hate to say it, but those leaks were real. What just happened? Oh, yeah. Big affair. Amelia is the daughter of Void Knight and Void Queen. Okay. And, oh, yeah. Again, she's the daughter of them. She's the daughter of them. And, yeah, this month, yeah, Simon said that, uh, Simon said that that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. I call bullshit on that. I'm sorry. I call bullshit. Simon, I Simon, I, I respect you. I respect the hustle that you're doing for Power Ranger, but buddy, you know, I I call I call I kind I call that kind of bull there because because it it fuck. <sighs> what the heck was that? <sighs> sorry. Yeah, I know. Uh, I kind I kind of see bull with that. Ugh. Ugh. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's stupid, but whatever. It's whatever. Uh, the villains are just boring. Nothing else. This show, I, I, I like the, I like the drama tension with this show. Like, like in the first half of season two, they told basically told Boy Knight to f off, and I love that. And I love it, and also, and also, also love the part where Javi told his piece of shit dad, "Uh, you're a hypocrite." I like that. I love that. I love that. I love seeing drama tension in Power Rangers. And the final episode did good. The final episode, the final episode did really good with this. But at the same time, I have my problem with that final episode. But um, uh, but I'm just gonna say here, I think. I think uh mentioning I think uh mentioning Angel Grove in here saying that oh yeah a Buzz Buzz Blast's gonna be an Angel Buzz Blast Angel Buzz Blast Angel Grove Yeah no that just turned yeah no that just that just turned it off for me. Yeah no that just ruined that that's ruined the episode for me because like really like Simon, are you really trying to make it into MNPR? The my MNPR because well, fucking hell. Let's see. Lord Zed's back, and he had beef with the Rangers. Beef. What? Like what beef? Like I'm sorry. So you're telling me? So you're telling me? So you're telling me? In the beginning of the show, Lord Zed got a monster to brainwash Ali on the same episode. Ali was confessing his love for Amelia, and oh yeah, the only reason why he did that. It's because Alia, not Alia, Ali get made fun of him. I never expected Lord Zed to be so sensitive. That is the Lord Zed. The Lord Zed I knew did not give a single f about anything. Like, like for real. This is the same guy that kidnapped. This is the same guy that kidnapped Kimberly. This is the same guy that forced the Rangers to go. To force Tommy. I, oh, fuck, sorry. Tommy, Adam, Billy, Aisha, and Rocky to 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 freaking control his Shogun Megazord and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the same guy that 
that literally that literally has a giant serpent Terra on the planet moon. On the on the moon. And also he just freaking entered the Rangers base like a badass in MMPR, like like for no reason. But now, Dino Fury. Lord Zed sensitive because Ollie made fun of him. What the f I'm sorry, what? So you tell me Lord Zed's so sensitive because Ollie made fun of him and that's the main reason why Ollie became my control? What the fuck? That's stupid! I'm sorry, no, that's stupid! That's stupid! Now if now if Lord Zed if Lord Zed had a more more other reason, then I, then I wouldn't be mad about that. But no, that's stupid. That's stupid. Sorry. That's stupid. He's based so the main so yeah, so you tell me that the almighty powerful Lord Zed on, the only reason why be, only reason why Robbie became brainwashed and controlled because he was sensitive that Robbie made fun of him. And then we do oh Oh, okay, uh, he mind control Ravi. Okay, that monster put a mind control on Ravi, then made Ravi take audio footage. Audio from, from the two hidden methods from, uh, Rapcon or whatever. And, uh, bam. Dude, that's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I'm, that's stupid. That's stupid. I never expected Lord Zed to be so sensitive. Lord, that isn't the Lord Zed that I know! Well, even the comics are the better version. What the heck? Ah! <laughs> uh. And also, I I can I can do I can get to show this. At least it tried, okay? At least it tried to at least it tried to connect all the Power Rangers lore. But it's just sorry. But it's just uh. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. That shit, that shit doesn't work. Yeah, no, 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 that doesn't work because really, and also, I kind, I kind of find bullshit that uh, see the main reason why uh, Steel became a human and Beast Morpher. So you tell me, Morpher Master main reason why that happened. Oh, so you tell me. Oh, so you tell me the more matches the main reason why Sam from SPT. So you tell me the main reason why. So you tell me the main reason why Sam and S SPD was a ball lie because of the fucking Morphin Masters, the green one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, fuck off with that. Fuck off with that. And also. Where the hell, also, where the hell, where the hell did the Patera, Patera key came from in Dino Fury Season 2? Because it did appear, it just appeared on its debut. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where did they got this key? I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember seeing that key in the first, in the first half of Season 2. Okay, it just appeared on nowhere, well, well, no explanation, okay. Like, at least give an explanation behind some of these keys, cause like they don't, they don't do it here. <clears throat> because like, fuck sake, we a soldier. At least we a soldier. Even though we don't, even though we don't know how I feel about we a soldier. At least we a soldier. Explain about about where the hell all the guys so where, where how all the we soul keys came from. They give an explanation for that. That's good. Dino Fury, they don't. They don't. Like, 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 where the, like, 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 for real, no. How the hell did they got the Patera, Patera Megazord? We don't know. We don't, we honestly don't know. We honestly don't know how. We honestly don't know because the, because the show never explained it. It, it was just with them the whole entire time, apparently. Okay, yeah, no, 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 that's stupid. That's stupid. That, that's stupid. That's a plot hole. Again, they were saying Don Fairy has a lot of plot holes for this show, so it's not just that. And also, I want to say this for people that for people that complain about Ninja Storm for Ninja Storm outdated dialogue, I just want to say this: you can't say that 
Well, yet Dino Fury is ten times worse. Hell, Ninja Steel, Samurai, Super Mega Force were somewhat better. Actually, hell no, 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 no. Samurai was complete garbage. Mega Force, Super Mega Force were complete doo doo. Ninja Steel, it's just shit. I'm sorry, but like, forget, forget the fucking run line, forget the fucking dialogue and run line in this show. It's just horrendously bad. Like, why the hell did Robbie say that, uh, say that, that his big face is gonna take my big fist? Like, really? Like, really? Again, then, in that same scene, Ollie was being a fucking idiot. So, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, language, but yeah, Ollie was just being a freaking idiot. No, oh, he's an idiot in the show, what I'm saying. <clears throat> But, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> My main problem with this show is that it doesn't explain, it doesn't explain about where the hell, where the hell the Rangers got all these other Ranger keys from. Why the fuck Lord Zed is back? Oh, okay, Lord Zed's back because, well, why not? He was supposed to, was he only supposed to be in, like, was he supposed to, ah, fuck. Was he supposed to only be like in that one episode down Fury? Down Fury season one, that's it. But oh no, they brought him back. They they brought him back. They brought him back and, and now he appeared that he's gonna be the main villain in Cosmic, I'm guessing, by the way. I'm guessing he is. Because it looks like that he is. I'm guessing that he is. I'm guessing that he is. And let me say this. Let me say this with the benefit of the doubt. Let me say this. Let me say this with the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> All right, hear me out. I'm say this. Please don't make Lord Zed the main villain in Cosmic Fury, because it just feels like that. Uh, it just feels like that. Uh, they just want to make an MMPR, a minor MMPR with this. With all three seasons, cause fucking hell, we don't need a modern MMPR. The last, the last Power Show, the last Power Show show that did it perfectly was Dino Thunder. It was a modern version, but at the same time, at the same time, that they, they had a little bit of a different twist to it. That was good. They tried the game with Mega Force and Super Mega Force and uh, Ninja Steel, and it was complete doo doo and horseshit. Please do not, please pass, bro. Do not. Make Lord Zed the fucking villain of season three for Cosmic Fear. Cause that isn't gonna that that no that doesn't work. That bad night. I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. That's for sure. Because fucking hell, I'll be drinking if that happens. And I hate drinking. And you guys thought that you got you guys you guys thought me towards without watching Lupat was bad. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that this doesn't happen there. <sighs> what else? What else can I say for the show? I like the American. Uh, I like the acting again. The same time, the acting hit and miss at at some part. Also, what was the point that one episode Attorney uh, Izzy and Ravi evil? Because that same episode. At the same at the same episode, they're acting so evil. Next couple of scenes, they're at a karaoke party. They're at a karaoke event with the family, and uh, poof, poof, the brain, poof, they're no longer evil. Are you telling me that the power of family and karaoke meant to get rid of Izzy and Bobby's uh brainwash? Fuck all. That's stupid. That's fucking stupid. That's stupid. That's, that's stupid. I get, I get, I get the, I get the message, Heine. The kids to spend time with their family. I get that, but like at the same time, it's stupid. I want to see a fight with them, fight the Rangers when they're evil. But no, we didn't got it. I'm, I'm not happy about that because they could doesn't they? Because like that was very interesting. That was actually very interesting. I like it that, but at the same time, same time, the power of karaoke man to break the spell. Of them being evil. That's stupid. Like, fuck's sake. 
Okay. Past Evil Rangers like Tommy or Trent or who else? Ryan from Tit Ryan from Ryan from Lightspeed Titanium Ranger. Hell, the Spirit Rangers. I can say, I was I would say Hunter and Blake, but at the same time, but at the same time, they weren't fully evil. Eh, yeah, I don't say evil. Yeah, Hunter and Blake as well. They had like they they had like okay they had like their friends and family to break the evil spell. Well, I think. Tommy, the spell was broken by Tommy with the Sword of Darkness. Trent, Trent, Trent stopped being evil after the White Dino Gem. Stopped controlling him after his father, uh, after the machine, after the machine took away all the pure evil from the White Dino Gem for Trent. Hunter and Blake, well, they weren't evil. They were, they were just manipulated by Love for Ryan, yeah. Ryan for Lightspeed had a hate boner for his family, his sister Dana, his dad, and of all the Rangers. I like that in Lightspeed about him. And then, and then after, then, then after his father said, "Listen, son, I'm sorry for what happened over here. Join us. We need you. We need you in Lightspeed." And he joined. I like that. I like that. But here in Dino Fury. It just, it just felt stupid that uh, Kiyoki broke the spell, and I didn't like that though. I wanted something, I wanted something different, but no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, that was just stupid. I didn't like that. What else can I say? Uh, I like Ollie's mom. Again, that I did say I do, I did like the fact that Simon referenced Shotaro Imori. The creator of Super Sentai Kamen Rider in the first half of season two, because Ali's mom went to the Mori Institute in Japan, and I like that. And also, they actually they they, they, actually, they actually filmed Japan though for the season for the second half, and I love that. I love that, and uh, I think and uh, I can't think. I was gonna say SPD did this too, but at the same time, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I know. It wasn't. Yeah, I know. It w yeah, I know. It wasn't. It wasn't. S yeah, S no, no. Yeah, no. SPD didn't do it, sadly. <laughs> they just, they tried. But, uh, yeah, no. But, yeah, I love it how you have to actually film in Japan for this. And that's pretty cool. Because I want to see more Power Rangers. I want to see, I want to see modern Power Rangers show film outside of America. Because, well, shit, I love it. Besides, Outside of America, that crew in New Zealand as well. Yeah, I love that. I want to see. I want to see Power Rangers be filmed like in I don't know other places that isn't like New Zealand or California. Well, it used to be California, but still. Japan. I want to see more than Power Rangers. I want to see more. I want to see more of. <laughs> I want to see more of my power in the film in Tokyo. I get it, I know, I know, Super Sentai and all that, I get it, but still. Somewhere in Tokyo, somewhere in Japan, is what people are trying to say, and I want more of that. So, yeah. But, uh, what can I, well, what, what else can I say about this show? Uh, okay, I'll take it my time talking, man. Dino Fury! Isn't for me. I don't hate it, but at the same time, I have so many problems with the show that just it do, it doesn't look good. I can say. I mean, I like the final episode, but at the same time, at the same time, that <laughs> episode, but yeah, I think no, that episode ruined for me when they when they said that oh Lord Zed's back and uh Buzz Buzz Blast is gonna be an Angel Glow, okay, and also. Where the heck did where the heck did uh, Ion confirm when the heck did Ion tell the Earth that he was an alien? When? When did that happen? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, in the time skip. Okay, so so Ion has so Ion is a chef in his own restaurant and, and yet people came and being alien. I'm sorry, what? So the number one call of being a power ranger is that you must keep your identity secret and hidden 
so people do not know who you are. <laughs> the Ranger broke that. This show, what I'm saying, Ollie broke it. Izzy broke it. Amelia broke it. Hell, the only ones that didn't were Zato. I don't know. I Ion. I don't know. Zato, Ion, and Ravi. <laughs> what? What the freak? Like, <laughs> dude, what? That's like. <sighs> I get it, okay? I get it, okay? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I get it, okay? For all three of those scenes, they're supposed to be intense emotional. I get that. But at the same time, it's fucking stupid how the Rangers broke their own freaking code when season one told them not to do that. But now it's forever. Now it's forever. It's forever. It's forever. It's fucking forever. And also, why the hell is I, why the hell is Ollie a fucking douche to his mom? Dude, I can't, I get it. You have a girlfriend, but at the same time, I'll be frankly honest about his, about, about his, about his relationship with Amelia. It went nowhere! Like, it wasn't even good writing the first half of the show, because, like, they hated each other. He was an asshole. I know, right? The se Okay, the second season pretty much pointed that out, the first half. But still here, it's okay, you have a girlfriend, that's fine, you can have a girlfriend. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like Amelia was his girlfriend. It just felt like it just felt like it just felt like that they were forcing it to happen. And no, oh, wait. I can compare this to many other past Ranger relationships that that were good romances. Just saying, Jen and Wes, Kira and Trent, kind of for that one. Blake and Tori. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, Kimberly and Tommy, Cat and Tommy. Who the fuck else can I say? Hell, can I say Billy and Trini? Because oh shit, Trini, oh shit, Trini had a thing for Billy. Just saying, see that and uh, Billy, buddy, listen, Billy, you should, you should have gone for that. But at the same time, at the same time, at the same time, fuck, I, I, fuck. I respect Billy. I, I like, I like David Yells, Okay, I like David Yells. But uh, his Power Ranger, his by his, his by uh, his Power Ranger project is something else. I can say, but that's for a different time. <laughs> if you know, you know why I'm saying that. But all right, um, compare like Amelia and Ollie's relationship to Ashley and Andrew from season one. From season one, from episode one in space, they've been they've been hinting nonstop that. That Ashley has feelings for Andrew. And then when Zane appeared, Andrew had feelings for Ashley. And yet and yet I like that. So the final I like that. In the final uh, I like that. All the way up to the count of destruction. I love that. I love that. Those two ha those two like, happy ever after, I guess you can say. But I like that in space. I like I like that romance. It was cool, it was cute, it was adorable. I like it. Here in Dino Fury for Ollie and Amelia, yeah, no, I don't see it. It just felt like that. Uh, it just felt like that. Uh, they were forcing it. Hell, a perfect example for me. Another perfect example for me to compare that is with Tyler and Shelby from Dino Charge, because those who like each other. <laughs> just saying, they did. They almost did kiss until color ruined it. Just saying, but hell, how. Hell, they're a romance in Dino Charge for those two. Tori and Blake, Tori and Blake had 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 a had a had a little bit of a cute romance, flirt flirting romance in Ninja Storm, and I like that because Blake cares for Tori. I love that. I love Ninja Storm because of that. People people see Ninja, people think Ninja Storm. It people think Ninja Storm is just oh 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 Ninja Storm is just comedic, outdated, and all of that stuff like. Not, not really, because, because there, because there a lot, because like there's a lot of things that people don't get, people don't get that show credit for what it does. For one, for one, for one, Ninja Storm did good for toy sales, and the main reason why we got other seasons like SPD, Dino Thunder, that were also good. Until it was the first, it was the first Disney era for Power Rangers. 
And uh, at the same time, at the same time, I see Ninja Storm as a power in the show that's comedic and serious. I call it semi perfect. It, it is. It is. It is. If you want to see a show that truly goofy with ninjas, then well, shit. I don't know. Walk like Ninja. Cause well, because well, because Ninja is the perfect example for being goofy with ninjas. You know I'm right about that. Just saying. You know I'm not wrong about that. It felt like he had down theory that um, Ali and Amelia weren't even weren't even boyfriend and girlfriend. It just felt like I don't know. It just felt forced, and I didn't like that. What else? What else can I say about this show? Okay. Dino Fury, for me, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't think it's bad. But at the same time, <sighs> at the same time, it's not the, I don't think it's, it's not perfect, no. Oh, no, the Santa combo is not even perfect as well. Just saying. You don't, you don't fully hate me, soldier. But Don Fury's a hot mess. Yeah, I can say it. Don Fury's a hot mess. Uh, unnecessary plot. Try to retcon stuff. It doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't work here. It doesn't work here. Don Fury's a hot mess. So that's all I'm gonna say. And I'm praying. And I'm praying that Cosmic Fury is good. Even though, even though that could be. You know, I, I have faith that's gonna be I'm in pure season three, so yeah. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about the discussion about about my thoughts and down theory. Bye.